On today's video, we have a clue of the potential civilization coming into Rise of Kingdoms. One of the civilizations coming into Rise of Kingdoms, this might be a potential clue. We also know what the heck is going on with the Archer Commanders. Why have they not come out yet? Is Leonidas gonna happen again at the MGE? What wheel are we gonna get in this month? Where is the monthly update? What the heck is going on? This video will cover everything you need to know about some of the things happening within Rise of Kingdoms as well as within Lilith. Uh, talk a little bit about things that I believe are coming fairly soon. So if you want to figure out when the Archer Commanders are coming in or which civilization is being hinted on this screen right here, sit back, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's go. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to Gecko Gaming. Here's the deal. I've been approached by someone, a member of the channel, with an insane clue for the next civilization in Rise of Kingdoms. We're gonna go over that in this video, as well as mentioned in the intro, what the heck is going on in general with Rise of Kingdoms right now, and where are the Archer Commanders, and hello? Yep. By the way, I'm a sponsored creator by Rise of Kingdoms. If you haven't yet, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's do this. So. I've heard quite a lot of theories in my time. I think Gecko Leaks was a thing that a lot of people really looked forward for, and a lot of people participated actively in guessing and coming up with tinfoil hat madness theories. But I think that this tinfoil hat theory takes the cake by a lot. And it was done by an individual who's a member in this channel, Ross. Yep, with his tinfoil hat on. So, Ross, was bored one day and he realized, wait a second, what is this? What are these letters and signs and what the heck is this? Turns out this is cuneiform. I hope I said it correctly. And on the screen right there, you can see a little bit of the things that are in the background kind of a little bit better. And so Ross having, an, uh, I guess, a lot of free time during that day went on to dig. And he found out that the figures on the screen are roughly from the Babylonian Assyrian era. Now I'm reading on here because I want to hit things correctly. And he even found a sequence of these characters, which comes out to Nebuchadnezzar, some Nebuchadnezzar, something, I don't know how to say his name, dropped on the screen as well. He was the king of Babylon. And so you'd think Ross was like, okay, well, I, I, he made a Reddit post, people helped him, and you'd think it stopped there, right? A day later, the man hits me up and goes, he got an actual professor of history to translate <laughs> the signs. And he says, in both pictures, there's a kind of a random sequence of signs and phrases such as king, strong one, his lord lady, he built it for, for him, her. And it's clearly the inspiration was a royal inscription of the third dynasty of Ur based on the phrases and sign forms. But I assume it's done for decoration rather than an actual meaning intended. The third dynasty of Ur, Ur, or whatever you want to call them, also called the Neo-Sumerian Sumerian, I guess, Empire, refers to the 22nd, a 22nd to 21st century BC Sumerian ruling dynasty based on the city of Ur. Ur. And a short-lived territorial political state which some historians consider to have been a, a nascent empire. And when asked about this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon thing, he said it could be the warding king was off. I mean, by far the most, I think, carried tinfoil hat theory ever. Like the guy actually went on to find a professor to try to explain this to him. And so first of all, massive shout out to Ross. I mean, first of all, I don't know if you've heard about a thing called life, but in general, you should try to probably find a little bit more of that. And by the way, that's a joke, Ross, I love you. I think it's 
awesome. I, I really, really think it's awesome that people are digging this far. I find it really interesting that members of our community are so invested into figuring out what's coming next that even this little bitty thing of like text piqued his curiosity enough to try to figure it out. And so one of the guesses and a potential candidate for a new civilization could be the Babylonian civilization with a king of Babylon coming in as a legendary commander. Is this true? Is this real? Is this something? Well, we'll ask Lilith once they watch this video and hopefully they'll reply with an answer. Now, let's go into a little bit more of a concrete thing. And that is, where are the archers commanders? And what the heck is happening with the update, the monthly update? Why haven't we heard anything? Well, maybe by the time of the recording of this video, the, the patch notes come out, because truthfully, patch notes can come out at any day. And so if patch notes came out in this video after them, well, we'll cover them in the next video. And if not, whenever the patch notes come out, we definitely will analyze and cover those in here. So if you don't want to miss that out, make sure you're subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell. Here's an inconvenient truth. It's called coronavirus. Now, for a lot of you guys, coronavirus is this panic thing that is crashing markets, that is scaring the heck out of you while you're sitting comfortably somewhere in your home country. And that is when I say most of you, because my demographics of what viewers are primarily American. What you need to understand is that for Lilith Gaming, coronavirus is right here. All of China has been pretty much in severe lockdown. Things have been crazy. And just like you'd expect, people have been quarantined home. They've required a 14 day quarantine before you can even start walking out on the streets and go to the offices and public places. And it needs to... Guys, coronavirus is a serious thing and it is actually affecting China and the world, what is the economy and the companies that work within China and Lilith Gaming as well as Lego are both Chinese companies. And so as soon as this whole coronavirus stuff started going out, everything grinded down to a halt. Why? Because I mean, all your developers are in quarantine 14 days at home. Yes, you can work from home. Sure, working from home is fantastic but it's not as productive and it's not as easy, especially when there is an outbreak of a virus in your country and you have family and you have kids and you start worrying and you, it's, it's impossible. And so I, in this video, I wanted to ask a favor of all of you. I understand that some of you have your beef with Lilith. I understand that some of you are, have your own, your complaints and your negative opinions about them. But what I would ask of you is just a little bit of compassion and patience at this time. These folks are doing their best to keep the, the lights on while they're at home in quarantine. So lag during events uh, more than usual, commanders being delayed, updates being delayed, uh, anything being delayed is, is, is part of this, okay? So I ask of you just compassion and patience with these guys, okay? Let them get back into action, give them a, a month or two to try to catch up and come back to full steam. And from there, we can go back to bashing them if you'd like. But for now, coronavirus has really grinded things down to a halt. One of the things that I believe we're gonna see fairly soon is an update coming in within the next probably week, if not two. Uh, there are a few things that need to be taken care of. There are a few promises that were made to the community that have yet to be met, especially when it comes to a Cyrus League season two. Now, of course, things got delayed because of coronavirus and all that good stuff, but I am hoping and praying that the bare minimum that are things that will affect a Cyrus League season two will be, will be handled timely. And if it means that legendary commanders get delayed by a month or two, I'm okay with that. So if you wonder, like maybe it's Lilith taking a break, nothing has been announced or confirmed yet, except for the fact that coronavirus has pretty much quarantined them all out. I don't know if it affected the area where they reside, nor whether someone from Lilith or not has potentially been, uh, had gotten sick, knock on wood but 
that's that's it. That's where we stand right now with with Rise of Kingdoms and really any mobile company or any company that comes out of China. Things got grinded down to a halt. And hopefully within the next week or two, we'll see a nice update, not necessarily with civilizations and commanders and all that, but I'm hoping that the bare minimum this update will bring will be some much needed updates to certain mechanics within the game that will affect Osiris League as they mentioned they would. And um, for example, the skills level, the skills, Osiris skills, they need to enable them for later to the latter stage, so forth and so on. And those things are coming fairly quickly. So I'm hoping that within the next couple of weeks, we'll see a new update. Maybe the Archer commanders will be out then, but as of right now, everything is down to halt. And I really beg of you, please just be nice. Let them get through this. It's, it's not an easy thing to go through. Anyway, what do you guys think is the next civilization that Rise of Kingdoms is gonna release? One or two civilizations that you guys think are coming in. Let me know in the comments down below, as well as who will be the next legendary commanders. Can we guess based on the civilizations we think which commanders are coming out next? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm Gecko, I'm out of here. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I understand that you guys really want all this new content and this new more stuff for Rise of Kingdoms. Rise of Kingdoms is getting a little bit boring to some of you, but it's gonna, it stopped. And it's something that we need to, to be okay with. We have to be okay with, it's not their fault. I'm Gecko, I'm out of here. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Drop a like before you leave, subscribe to the channel, join the Discord, link in the description down below, and I'll see you guys sooner rather than later. Take care.